to another episode of Poor Man Mods, and today I'm going to show you how to use Seafoam. I'm not going to go into its benefits because I'm not trying to advertise for these guys without being paid for it. So I'm just going to show you how to use it. There's actually three, way three ways you can use it. Put it in the gas tank, bleach your fuel injectors and all that crap, but I don't think I need to show you how to put it in your gas tank. You can also put it in with your oil, about 100 miles before you change your oil, and it helps that way. And the third way, which most people don't know how to use it, is putting it in a vacuum line and help clean out your induction system and all that. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing that we have to do is take off a vacuum line. Um, I'm going to take off this vacuum line that runs to the brake booster. So I just have to pull this guy off without breaking anything. Okay, we got it off. I'm going to start the car and it's going to auto rough because there is a vacuum leak. So we pour about half the bottle in. Um, we're done with this. I'm not going to do any more. I'll probably just put the rest of this in my gas tank. We shut the car off. Now I'm going to put the vacuum line back on. And now it's on. And now we let the car sit for about 10 minutes. And then we'll rub the hell out of it, and you'll see all the white smoke, which is carbon built up, coming out of the car. It's been about 15 minutes since uh, we shut the car off. So we're going to turn it on and see how much this baby smokes. <laughs> <laughs> 